Welcome to Sick Baggers YouTube channel. I'm Steve and today I'm going to be talking to you about the couple of differences in the Clockworks windshield, how to measure for them, and how to pick the one that's best for you. This is going to be the first video on the Whiskey Project. We've got the 2015 Amber Whiskey Rogue Glide back here. If you've watched our channel in the past, we've got about 100 videos that really kind of concentrated on the Street Glide and uh, all of those components. So the 15 back here we got is bone stock. Now over the past few years, my experience has told me on these Harley-Davidson Touring models that there's four or five things right off the bat that I think need to be changed. Uh, the bike is rideable right out of the uh, off the showroom, uh, but there's four or five things that I consider that uh, suck about the Harley Davidson Touring motorcycles. Windshield is right up at the top of the list. When we got the 14 Street Glide over there, we immediately switched the windshield on it, and I did a bunch of homework and come to the conclusion that I was going to get the Clockworks Flare for the 14 Street Glide. We did, and we loved that thing, and there's absolutely no question in my mind which windshield we were going to go with when we got the 15 Road Glide. We rode this one with it being bone stock and I immediately noticed that the windshield was actually pretty terrible. Like I said, it is rideable, but if you're wanting a little bit more wind deflection for you and your passenger, then the windshield is a great place to start. The reason why I picked the Clockworks windshield uh, after I did all my homework is just how tough these things are. I've got a couple of buddies that have them. They've been smacked with rocks, uh, no breaking, no scratching. They don't scratch when you wipe them off. Uh, they're super resistant to that stuff. So it's just a good investment for your motorcycle, guys. I, I guarantee you that'll be the last windshield I put on that motorcycle. So if you cheap out and get one of those eBay and Amazon windshields, you're going to regret it. I've got buddies that have done it and they absolutely hate those things. Uh, they're flimsy, they're cheap, they scratch super easy. I mean, even spraying just some cleaner on them and wiping them, I've seen them scratch and it just blows my mind that these guys go out and cheap out on these windshields. A couple of years ago, we got smacked with a huge rock out of the back of a diesel. Uh, we were going down the highway about 55, 60 mile an hour right in there, got smacked with a huge rock right in the middle of the windshield, enough that it made me pull over because I thought for sure that windshield was done. So we pulled over, I wiped a little bit of gravel dust off the windshield and one little bitty nick, no crack, no bust, no nothing. That blew my mind. I thought for sure that windshield was smoked and I was gonna have to buy a new one. So that goes to prove right there, that, that in my mind proved to me how tough that windshield is. So to figure out which windshield you want, guys, like I said, there's a Sport Flare and there's a Pro Touring model. So the Pro Touring model is a little bit wider and has a little bit more vertical height to it when you're measuring. We'll talk about how to measure for that. The Sport Flare is a little bit more leaned back towards the rider, so it has a little bit less vertical height. And it also follows the line of the 15 and up Road Glide fairings back here a lot better. So pretty sleek look after you get it put on. But if you're looking for a Clockworks windshield, guys, they don't just cover the Harley-Davidson bikes. They cover a ton of bikes. So go over to the website, check it out, and check out the ones that's specific for your motorcycle. We decided to go with the Sport Flare just because of the sleek look that it has, and it also provides the wind protection that we want. Now, I see this in the forums all the time where guys say, well, I'm six foot one, what size windshield should I get? Well, I'm five foot eight, what size should I get? That does not matter one bit. It's your riding position on the motorcycle. We did a video a couple of years ago on the Street Glide, and I actually specifically told you guys when you measure for these to get in your riding position. Don't do this with the bike on the kickstand and just kind of nonchalantly sitting on the bike and looking over the windshield. These windshields are designed to look over, not through. With the curve and stuff, they don't recommend that you look through these windshields. It's not one of them just big flat windshield that you can just look through. You want to look slightly over the top of the windshield. Get your bike into an upright position. Get on the bike. Have somebody else do the measuring for you get into your riding position. I may start out nice and straight and like this, and 20 minutes I'm slouched down into my seat. Well, slouching down into my seat just brought my eye level down. So you need to get into your most comfortable riding position, hold that position while somebody else measures for you. So with the stock windshield on here, let's get over here and measure for this one just to see which one I would need. So here we have the 14 inch Clockworks windshield. This is the Sport Flare. This is the one that I said leans back towards the rider. So this is a 14 inch. So technically from the bottom of this lip to the top is 14 inches. So on a 14 inch Clockworks windshield with it on the motorcycle leaned back, the vertical height would only be about 10 and a half inches from here up to the straight edge over. And that's exactly how we're gonna measure to see what size windshield we need. So like I said, you wanna get your motorcycle upright, get on your motorcycle, get in your most comfortable riding position. Then we're gonna use a level so we can actually make sure that it's a level off of my line of sight, we're gonna to measure to the bottom of the level. So I'll put the, the bottom of the level just about at my nose, eyes area right in there. She'll make sure it's level. She'll measure from the middle of the vent 
up to the bottom of the level and it gives us a 10 and a half inch vertical height. So once again, from this angle, going off of my line of sight, level off my line of sight from the middle of the vent up to the bottom of the level gives you your vertical height. And we're right at 10 and a half inches. Hey, I just wanted to take a quick second to tell everybody, thank you for subscribing to the channel and checking out our videos. Guys, the channel's growing like crazy and we appreciate the hell out of it. Always free videos, all of the time. We don't charge you for videos. We don't do Patreon, we don't ask for donations, none of that stuff. Always free videos all the time. Maintenance, how-tos, product reviews, all that stuff is on our channel. If you haven't already, check out the whole channel, a plethora of bagger-related videos on there. You can also find sick baggers over on Instagram and on Facebook. If you check us out over on Facebook, you can get a hold of some bagger swag. We do the t-shirts over on the Facebook side. We do a pre-order a couple of times a year. We get everybody's t-shirts out. So find SIK Baggers over on Facebook, ask to join, and we'll get you hooked up. Back to the video. To change out your windshield is actually very easy, guys. You're just going to loosen the four windshield screws on the road glide here. You're gonna have two here and two on the other side. Once you get the four screws loose, you can just grab the edge and simply pull up and away from the motorcycle and take your stock windshield off. Now, the most important part about putting this back on is the four washers that are on your bolts. They wanna fall back down to the fairing. You wanna pull those up so the windshield goes between the rubber and the washer. You don't want the washer on the back side of your windshield. Then you just simply take your new windshield, making sure that you put the washer in front of the windshield as you go. Make sure that it's seated all the way down to the edge of the trim, and then you just simply tighten those back down. So to clean up the fingerprints and the dust and stuff off of here, I highly recommend that you get a bottle of the Clockworks Shineworks. You can pick that up on the Clockworks website, guys. Made specifically for the plastic. Don't use Windexes and stuff like that. It's got ammonia in it. It's not good on the plastic. Never put Rain-X on here, guys. Rain-X is made for glass. This is plastic, so don't Rain-X your motorcycle windshield. This stuff works really good. Gets the dust off, gets the fingerprints off. You never want to dry wipe plastic either. I've got some detailed videos that we talk about dry wiping. That is my biggest no-no. If you've got dust and bugs on this, don't take a dry towel and go over it and wipe it off. Spray it with some kind of lubrication. The Clockworks Shineworks works really good. Spray it on there. Even if it's like bugs and stuff, you can let it soak for a minute and then just wipe it off. Leaves a nice streak-free shine. Brand new windshield, minus fingerprints and dust and dirt. Now that we got the windshield installed, guys, I can sit on the bike and I can check it out. I can see right over the top of that windshield. Once again, the Clockworks windshields are not designed to look through. You want to look slightly over the top. So hopefully that will help you guys measure for the windshield for you. Make sure you get on the Clockworks website. Like I said, check out the different models. Check out the different tints. They have this all the way to like a black. This is a dark smoke. Uh, we do have a black one on the street glide. Absolutely love it. So that's pretty much it on measuring for a Clockworks windshield, guys. I hope that video helps you. Once again, this is part one of the Whiskey Project back here. So if you want to watch all of the upgrades that we have planned for this motorcycle, make sure that you like the video and click the subscribe button on our channel. If you haven't already, check out our channel. We got over 100 bagger related videos on there right now. And we're just going to continue to add to the channel with the Rogue Glide upgrade. Hitting that like and subscribe is what helps us get our butts out here and make these free videos for you guys. I appreciate the hell out of every one of you. I'm going to get out of here and get my butt back to work. Until next video, as always, be safe. Keep your knees in the breeze.